All right. Starting the guarding. This will be our, our first garden. Me and the wife is gonna start. So I wanna kinda document what we got going on. Pretty much my job to get the first phase out. I think I probably got like a 10 foot by five or six foot. Uh, digging it out. So, so I'm gonna continue digging all this out. Try to get some of that top layer of grass. I want all that soft. Look like it's about to rain. So this is all what I bought for it. Once I get it, got me some garden soil, all purpose. More garden soil, some peat moss, and uh, organic humus manure. Got me a cultivator. Bought a hole. Got a hole in that corner over there. So I'm gonna pretty much do it all by hand. I started to get one of them gas powered cultivators. So I'm gonna do it by hand. Kinda see how it go. Alright. Hopefully I better hit it then. Get all this dug out before the rain hit. The ground is soft. There's a lot of rocks right here. That's why I bought this. Dig. I'm gonna pick out all the rocks out. I think it's a lot of bricks. Let's see it right here. Yeah, these bricks. So I'm gonna get all that out of there. And this is the only area that that I felt them. All this ground here is soft. It's a fairly new neighborhood. Uh, maybe 10 or 15 years old. So I think when they were building for somebody Houses are brick, like half of our house are brick. So I think when they were building a neighborhood, the contractor or whatever, they were just throwing bricks right here. And we got barriers.
Fitbit on how many calories I'm gonna burn. Probably burn more calories doing this than going to the gym. Pause the video and uh, come back when I got the, the top part clear. I'm gonna do the rest of it. I'm get a rake. I wanna get all that grass off first. Then come back and dig some more. I'll do respect to all the farmers.
enough for today. Or maybe I at least knock this part out. Feel my garden, bro. It's for our garden. Whoa. I think that's enough for today, bro. Come back. Hit it again tomorrow. I'd be stopped. All right. Tilting the garden by hand. This is where I'm at so far. I'm going to find some of these big clunks up. Throw them over into there. Everything in here is pretty fine and ready to go. You got some miracle grow and some uh, peat moss. I think that's how you pronounce it. Peat moss. And uh, I'm gonna go and get a couple more bags of uh, miracle grow. So I want to find this up and uh, water it real good. Matter of fact, I think I might go ahead and just water some now. Put a little water in there now. So I can have that layer good and wet underneath. And I'm gonna come back and mix it up.
I don't want to use up too much camera space though, because pretty much all I'm gonna be doing is finding this whole side up, dumping it back in there, finding that side up, dumping it in there. Put me some more uh, all purpose soil, about three or four more bags, and uh, I think we'll be ready to start planting. <laughs> We just about ready to plant. Got some miracle grow down. Spread this out. Water a little bit. And uh probably let it sit for a couple hours. We got some tomatoes, tomato cages, peppers, okra. I'm gonna plant half with the uh plants that's already kind of grown and I got some seeds that I'm gonna put in the back of the garden. We got it pretty good and even. 
I'm going to water it. Let's take a lunch break. I think it's going to rain today, but I thought it was going to rain yesterday, so I'm just going to go ahead and water it. Let it sit in. I'll probably let it sit overnight, water it real good, and plant tomorrow when I get off of work. All right, our first garden. Show you how to grow, well, start growing a mango tree from the seed. Let's see if I can set the camera up better than this. I got my mango seed. Now I'm just gonna pierce this open. Get something where well, it got a little hump in the back. I'm gonna take my finger there. And just crack it open. You don't want to stick your knife in there because you don't want to damage the seed. All right. Just crack that open. All right. Now I got my seed. Nice mango seed. So I already got one. I'm sitting in some uh, paper towel, plastic bag, and uh, just dampen the paper towel. Put the paper towel, put a little water on it. Mango, I got it from. All right. So I got my damn paper towel. So I'm just gonna flip this one time. Put my mango seed in here. Flip it a couple times. Three times. Label it. Label it here. I'm, all right, well, I know what that is, but I do want to date it, so I'm finding me a Sharpie. And then I'm going to let it just sit in my warm garage for about two weeks. And uh, I, I, I'll do an update. Peace out. My mango. It's been growing. Uh, I think I planted this. I planted three of them. Uh, March 26th. I think this one got a little nub growing, but this one here has really sprouted. And this one, March 30th. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one 
in the pot. Uh, and today is April the sixteenth. little root system I'm out of tear I tore it a little bit so you see I got a nice little root system going here Good mangoes. I don't know how long it takes. I heard seven years. We'll see. So my plans is put it in this pot here and uh for about a, maybe a month. Then I may transfer it to a bigger pot. Transfer it to a bigger pot. And then transfer it to the ground. So that's my main goals. Take a look at my garden. Got potatoes, tomatoes, peppers. Collards, okra, onions. All right, so I'm gonna water this a little bit and we'll see what it do. Babe, go. do a garden update. Huh? So do a garden update with me. It's been three weeks. Uh, yeah, it's been three weeks of planting. Show what we got. Yes, um, three weeks of planting. Here we have the okra. They, they were seeds. Now they're coming out, as you can see. But we need to protect them because, as you can see here, the insects are eating them. But they look good. I believe they'll survive. They're still good. Here we have the tomatoes. We bought them. Uh, they were already like real small when we bought them, but now they're real big, yeah. bringing out flowers. And I believe those are tomatoes. Yeah, because these started about halfway on their first run. They all the way up to the second. Yes. So. And. You see the potato. The potatoes coming out now. It takes yeah. a while more than the other ones yeah, to I, come out. So we got six of those. It takes a while, and I need to do some weeding uh, because the grasses are coming out into uh, the fence, and uh, we don't want this to happen. So I'll yeah, we gotta get out of that. Yeah, I need to remove all this out. Um, we have the onions that came out. 
we can see onions yes we can see that all what we've planted we planted um five of them already coming yeah, out all of them are so uh we'll wait maybe another three weeks to see they should be good what else we got we have some peppers we have all kinds we have banana peppers habanero jalapenos we have uh, several we have red bell peppers as well and uh, in order to pacify them we put some little um, we put this that's on it yeah. and <clears throat> on there as well the flowers are coming out so it's a good sign that they're healthy and they're growing what else we got uh, my we have the carrots. The carrots, uh, they're taking a while, but we can see them among. That's the reason why we need to weed so that um, they won't the be. The carrots, what are you? That's a carrot. No, oh, that's collard. not a carrot. That's a collard green, and um, the wind yeah, blew it The wind here. pushed it over there. Then. But the carrot. Uh, I see one, yeah. Yes, you can see it. It's like a bushel. Right here. If you zoom in, it's among the weeds. Where? I see it. Let me come. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, and we have a couple among the weeds that are coming out. So after I remove all. Yeah. Man. And my favorites are really the collard greens because they're Collard's. flourishing. And uh, as far as what I've read about is, they really fl flourish. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be a lot of collard greens. We got two rows of collard greens. Two rows, yes. Uh, because you eat a lot of collard greens. Yeah. <laughs> with some good turkey meat and uh, some bell peppers. But, so I believe besides the meat, we'll be good for some stew. Yeah, so the onions. Collard green stew. Collard green. Greens, so. Carrots. Collards. And, and two rows of okra too. Yeah. So. Yeah, then the oh. first ones you pointed out was the okra. Yeah, the All right, people. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, she got a plant of uh, sunflower seed over there in that black pot that she, uh, where you get that from? We got that from the Houston uh, Rodeo. Thing. Houston Rodeo. Yeah, it was seed. All right. I got some three mango tree, tree germinating, so I can't wait to plant those. All right, people. I'm finished cutting this grass. And uh, we'll update you in about three weeks. Oh. Peace out. I'm gonna say peace out. <laughs> Garden update. Planted. We planted everything March 18th. Today is April the 26th, I think, 25th or 26th. So it's been a little over a month. These are the peppers. They starting to bloom, little flowers. Tomatoes. Growing some tomatoes. Potatoes, they growing in the ground. You just sprout it out. Those are growing pretty good. The onions, onions. The collard greens. Collards, collard green, two rows of collard green, two rows of okra. All the green looking good. So I'm really eating these up over here. We'll get out this weekend and get all that grass out of there. I think everything looking good though. Got tomatoes. Got some green tomatoes coming in.
sun, sunflower. This is my mango, mango tree. Throw a banana peel in there. Nice mango leaves. I'm gonna let this grow in here for about another week or two and put it in a bigger pot. All right, that's like a month and a week update on my garden. With a little watering. I'm gonna hook my sprinkler up. I thought it was gonna rain yesterday, but it didn't. I like that natural rain water on it. All right, everybody, have a blessing. Good growing.